there are large enterprises and public bodies who have a large internal postal system uh, run for the different sites and departments used by management and staff alike. All sorts can be put in this post, memos, financial data, design work, but also a lot of items that it may be more appropriate to send by other means. In this next video I'm going to show you how Ipswich Move It DMZ uses Outlook integration for the transfer of large files in a way that guarantees delivery in a secure and an auditable way. So we'll jump into Outlook and we will compose a new mail message in the usual way. If we can select a recipient address as so, type in a subject and we're sending some test files and we're going to attach files in the usual way. So let's just have a quick look for a file that we can send. We'll take that one there. So we insert that in the usual way. Uh, just a quick body in the mail, so please review my files or something like that. You see an extra button there that says Send Secure, which is part of the Ipswich Outlook plugin. You don't normally see that on Outlook, but it's the same thing. You press that one instead of the usual Send button. We'll do a Send Receive to speed things along. Now the recipient of those files receives a message. So the, the message itself comes from me but it also goes via the FTP server to the recipient. You'll see that the file has actually been stripped out. There's no files in that email. It's not held on the email server. It's on the FTP server. So it provides me with a username and a password for the new account and a link to access those files. So I shall put in the new account details. As you can see that matches the recipient email address and the temporary password that I was given. And for security reasons I just have to amend that password on first use. Okay so we go in, here's, here's a copy of the email from the sender. Um, you will see at the bottom that the actual document that was stripped out of the email message is available for download on the FTP server. So I will save that and I'll point it at my desktop somewhere so we can have a look in a minute. And we'll sign out of the FTP server. You'll see that we've logged in using HTTPS so that is a secure method of accessing the server. And there on my desktop is the original document that was sent to me as though it had been sent by email, although it hasn't actually travelled through the email system. Now also I can just quickly do a send receive here and the original sender of the message will now receive a notification and this notification is to say that there's been a delivery receipt by the person that we sent it to. So this person viewed the package test files at 10th of the 1st 2011 at 11.52 and I have a link to go in with my own username and password and view the history of that attachment. So we'll click the link and log in. And this time we're using the sender's account. And it takes us straight to the history for test files. As you can see there's an audit trail, we can see everything that's happened. So the attachment was added to the actual package. A notification message was sent which we saw to the recipient. And a notification confirming delivery receipt was sent back to the sender. And also that integrity has been checked on that download, which means that what was taken off the server is the same as what was put on the local machine. 